This is a demonstration of the RX2 bridge used to check the impedance of a piece of wire. Here I've attached a piece of wire to a window, as you can see there. The wire comes down to the bridge here, and there is also an earth stake to act as a counterpoise. First I will check the reactance of the wire on the 160 meter band, frequency 1.84 megahertz. So I will tune the resistance dial first, and I find it there's a, a bit of a null around about 250 ohms, and then the reactance dial. And that nulls around about 150 pf. We now check the piece of wire at 3.5 megs, and we find that the reactance nulls around about 300 pf, and the resistance nulls quite nicely around about 230 ohms. So from the 300 pf, we can calculate or find the reactance at 3.5 megs. I couldn't find a null on the 7 uh, MHz band. The closest was 8.6 MHz. And at this frequency, I found the resistance to null quite broadly around about 180 ohms and the reactants very close to 30 picofarads. The next frequency I found a null occurred was 12 MHz. And at this frequency, the resistance was 200 ohms and the reactance was zero. I couldn't find a null at 14 MHz, but I found at 18 MHz the resistance was around 150 ohms and the reactance was around about 40 PF. On tuning around I found a null at 4.305 MHz, where the reactance is zero and the resistance is approximately 235 ohms or thereabouts. I was unable to find this piece of wire gave a resistance of 50 ohms on any frequency. So I then attached the tuning unit between the piece of wire and the bridge. And I set the bridge to zero reactance and 50 ohms and then adjusted the tuning unit for a null. As you can see there, this is a Hambro tuning unit, just a simple T network with the inductor going to ground and there you see the adjustment of the tuning unit has allowed me to tune this piece of wire to 50 ohms. I've now adjusted the tuning unit for 50 ohms at 7.1 megs, and here you see the settings of the tuning unit. These are the settings for 14200 megahertz. megahertz twenty eight five hundred 